What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, in today's video, I am going to show you that how you can install WordPress on a Windows computer using the WSL or Windows subsystem for Linux. In my computer, I had already installed Ubuntu operating system using the WSL. And in this Ubuntu operating system, I am going to install the WordPress. So if you don't know how you can install Ubuntu in WSL, you can watch my previous video, link will be in the description or you can click on the icon. With that, let's get started. Let's start installing WordPress on our Ubuntu operating system in WSL on Windows 11 operating system. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my terminal and from here, I'm going to switch to Ubuntu operating system. Here you can see, I'm using Ubuntu 22.04.4 LTS on Windows. Now, what you need to do, you have to update and upgrade the packages of your currently installed Ubuntu operating system. Now, let me zoom in my terminal a little bit. Now, you need to update your recent packages of your Ubuntu operating system. So, type here sudo app-y update. Then press enter. Then give your root password. Then press enter. This command is going to update all the packages of your Ubuntu operating system. Okay, and now you have to upgrade the packages. So type here sudo app-y upgrade. Then press enter. And this command is going to upgrade all the packages. Okay. Now after that, you need to install the Apache web server. So type here sudo app install Apache 2. Then press enter. Then y and enter. And this command is going to install the Apache web server on your Ubuntu operating system. Now to see the system status or Apache status, type here system CTL status Apache 2. Then press enter. And here you can see the Apache web server is now running. Now to verify it, first of all, we have to get the IP address of your Ubuntu machine. So type here if config. Here you can see my Ubuntu operating system IP address is this one. So copy it from here. Then open up any of your browser and paste that IP address. And here you can see the default Apache web page. So that means our Apache web server is working. Now again, get back to your terminal. Then clear your terminal. And now you have to install the MySQL. So type here sudo app install mariadb dash server then mariadb dash client then press enter then y enter this command is going to install the mariadb server and client on your ubuntu operating system okay and after that you have to secure your mariadb server so type here sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation then press enter then type your root password then press enter then it will ask you with some questions you already have your root account protected so you can safely answer no switch to unique socket authentication type here y then press enter Type here N, then press enter. Then here it will ask you to remove the anonymous user. Press Y, enter. Then it will ask you to disallow the root login remotely. Press Y, then enter. And also it will ask you to remove the test database. Type here Y, then press enter. Then you have to reload the privilege table. Press Y, then enter. It will secure your MariaDB server. Now after that, you have to install the PHP. So type here sudo app install php php mysql then dash y then press enter. This command is going to install the php and php mysql on your Ubuntu operating system. Okay. Now 
to test the PHP installation, you can create a PHP file and load it on your browser. For that, I'm going to type here sudo nano slash verb slash www slash html then slash info dot php then press enter and here you need to type this portion of text then save your text control o enter control x then get back to your browser and here after the ip address type info dot php then press enter and if you get your php version that means php has been successfully installed on your ubuntu operating system now again get back to your terminal and now we have to create a user for our database of wordpress type sudo mysql dash u root dash p then press enter then enter your root password then press enter and we are into mariadb server now here we need to create a database so type here create database wordpress underscore db type this command then press enter and this command will create a wordpress database named wordpress underscore db now we need to create a user for this database so here you're going to type create user then put a single quote type a username here i'm going to type mehdi shakil then type at the rate then put a single quote again then type localhost then give a space and type here identify by then again put a single quote and type a password then press enter it's going to create a user for your wordpress database now you have to grant the privilege to the user and grant the user permission to access the database so type here grant all on wordpress underscore db the database name then type here dot star then give any space and type here to then type the username here i'm going to type single quote then my username whatever i said earlier then type here at the rate localhost then type identified by then give the password then press enter okay now clear your terminal again then you have to flash the privilege type here flash privilege then type exit to exit okay now to install the wordpress you have to download the wordpress file for this i'm going to download the wordpress file in my temporary folder so here i'm going to type cd slash temp then get back to your browser take another tab and search for wordpress go to this link wordpress.org then from here right click and copy this link address now again get back to your terminal and type here wget and paste that url then press enter and this command going to download the wordpress file on your ubuntu operating system okay now if i type here ls here you can see we have a file called latest.zip now we have to unzip this file now to unzip this latest.zip file type here unzip latest.zip now if i type here ls here you can see now we have a file or folder for wordpress now we have to copy this wordpress folder into our var slash www slash html directory so type here sudo cp dash capital letter r 
then the folder name then type slash word slash www slash html then press enter okay now if i change our directory to that folder and type here ls here you can see we have a folder called wordpress and now we have to change the ownership of this wordpress files so type here sudo chown or change owner then type here dash r then type here www dash data then again type www dash data then type the folder name then press enter then you have to change the file permission so again type here sudo chmod dash r then type 755 to give the permission then type the folder name then press enter then you need to create a folder called upload in wordpress slash wp content so type this command sudo mkdir wordpress wp content then type upload then press enter now again you have to change the permission of this upload directory so type here sudo chown www dash data again www dash data then wordpress wp content uploads then press enter okay now everything is completed now get back to your browser and after your ip address type here slash wordpress then press enter and you will get this wordpress setup page or configuration page now from here select your wordpress language then click on continue then click on let's go here it would name your database which is wordpress underscore db then type the username of your database then your database password then keep it localhost and table prefix wp underscore then click on submit then after that click on run the installation and you will get this welcome page now here you need to set your website title, username, password and email address. Then click on install WordPress. And here you can see our WordPress has been successfully installed. Now to log in the WordPress admin panel, click on login. And here you will get the admin panel login field. Here you have to type your username, then type the password. Then click on login. And guys, we are into the WordPress website. Like this, you can easily install WordPress on your WSL or Windows Subsystem Linux. Here you can see the fully working WordPress website has been installed in our Windows WSL.